everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable donut macarons. To start, I'm making my classic macaron batter by first combining one cup of almond flour and one and three quarter cups of powdered sugar in a bowl, mixing it a little bit and then leaving it to the side. Then in another bowl, I combine three egg whites and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, mix them with a hand mixer until little bubbles formed, and then I gradually added a quarter cup of granulated sugar, about a tablespoon at a time, and continued whipping until stiff peaks formed. Now obviously you could test with your hand mixer by picking it up to see if stiff peaks form but another way to test your batter to make sure it's ready is to flip it upside down and if all the batter stays in your bowl then you're good. Now in order to get that perfectly golden donut color, you want to add some cocoa powder and some yellow food coloring until the color is just right. Now there are no exact measurements for this as some cocoa powders are darker, some are lighter, some yellow food colorings are stronger than others. But if I had to put an estimate on it, I would say I added about half to three quarters of a teaspoon of cocoa powder and a small drop of yellow gel food coloring which is generally stronger than water based ones. Once you've mixed the yellow food coloring and the cocoa powder into your mix and you're happy with the color, you want to add a third of your dry ingredients into this egg white mixture and mix until fully combined. Then you want to add the rest of your dry ingredients and mix it in. Now this part of knowing whether your batter is mixed enough or not is crucial for the success of your macarons. So to test it out, you want to see if your batter is loose enough to be able to draw a figure eight with your batter without it breaking. And once you can do that, you want to stop mixing so you don't overbeat your batter. Once your batter is ready, Ready, you want to place it into a piping bag fitted with a 1A piping tip and I suggest twisting the bottom of your bag right above where the tip sits so that the batter doesn't spill out when you're filling your piping bag. Now you can obviously freehand making these donut shapes but I highly recommend using a template so that when you do have to match them up later it's easier because they're a lot more uniform. Once you finish piping all your circles you want to bang your cookie sheet on the counter a few times to release any air bubbles then let them sit for about 50 minutes to dry out and you'll know they're ready when you can rub your finger along the top without them sticking. 10 minutes before your macarons are done setting, you want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees and once they're dry, you want to bake them for 16 minutes. In order to make my filling the same color as my macaron cookie, I dyed some store-bought frosting with some yellow food coloring and cocoa powder until it matched the color of my macarons. Then I fitted a piping bag with a 1A piping tip and piped a ring around my macaron cookie and sandwiched it shut with another macaron cookie of the same size. If you used a template, this should be easy, but if you freehanded them, you want to match up your cookies before you fill them. This next part you could do with whatever color chocolate you want. I'm going to use some melted white candy melts that I placed in a plastic bag, melted in the microwave and then cut a really small tip off of. Then you want to draw a ring around the outside of your macaron cookie and the inside, then fill this ring in with some more melted white chocolate. And lastly, before your chocolate sets, you want to add some of your favorite sprinkles on top to finish these off. I hope you love these adorable mini donut macarons as much as I do. And if you have any questions about any of the specifics in the video, feel free to comment down below or DM me on my Instagram at the.brickery.